In this video we're going to use the information we've learned thus far from the lessons to create an application that's going to ask the user for three pieces of information and we're going to do some kind of calculation on this. And So what we're going to plan on doing is creating an application that's going to calculate the length and width uh, from a room as well as the cost per foot uh, or square feet of a material and give us a total price. So to begin with I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. And we're just going to call this project square feet. I'll go ahead and hit OK. Now I already know that I'm going to take three different pieces of data from the user. I'm going to need the length, the width, as well as the cost per foot or square foot for the material that we're going to use within this calculation. So I know I'm going to have three different things and I also know that when I use a console read line it's going to take that value and store it as a string. So I'm going to create three strings here for that those three pieces of data. Just say string and I'm going to go ahead and start this off the str. That's just my abbreviation to let me know that this is going to be a string and I'll just do the width and I end that with a semicolon. I'll create another string here and let's call that str and we'll do this one length and then with a semicolon and one more string and this one we'll just start with str and this is going to be cost per square foot and we're going to go ahead and end that with a semicolon so those are the three pieces of data that I'm going to use within this program that I'm going to need to gain or gather from the user while we're using this application. So now I'm going to go ahead and set up the structure to ask the user for the question and actually take that data and store it in my string values. So I'll begin with the console write line. And we're going to start our first question here. We'll just say what is the width of the room. And I'll go ahead and end that with the quote and we're going to go ahead actually I'll put a question mark there to make it in the form of a question and we'll end the statement here. Now that I've asked the question it would make sense for us to actually take that data and store it. So let's go ahead and just say the str width is now going to equal whatever the user types in. So we're going to need to write the console dot read line and we'll go ahead and do the parentheses and end that statement. So now I'm actually going to store what the user types in in this str width string that I've got created. So we're going to do the exact same thing now for the length. So I will just go ahead and do a console dot write line ask my question for what is the length of the room and that with the semicolon there and then we're going to go ahead and store this read line from the user into this value of str length. So I'm going to go ahead and say str length is now going to equal the console read line. Alright, so that's two of the questions and let's go ahead and create our third question here. Console.write line. And we're going to go ahead and ask the user what is the cost per square feet for the material. And we'll go ahead and end this one. And we'll store this value in the str cpsf string that I've created. So this is going to be the console.read line one more time. And we'll end this statement. Now if I were to run this application what would happen is this program would create three different strings or three different containers that would hold values for me. It would ask the first question and then store the resulting text from the user into the first string and then the second string and then the third string. Unfortunately though uh, with the strings I cannot do any calculations and so what we're going to need to do before we can actually do any of the math is we need to convert the results or the answers that the user has typed in to our questions which are stored in the value of a string over to a number that we can actually do math with. And So since some of these results may require decimal places such as the cost per square feet or even my length or width may not be necessarily whole numbers or integers, we're going to use the double variable or double data type. So I'm going to go ahead and create the double and we'll just call this DBL 
for the uh, abbreviation for double to let us know that we're now working with a variable that's a double and we'll just say width and I'll go ahead and create another double for my length and then one more double for my CPSF and so now I've created three more data types or three more variables to work with all doubles that will allow me to basically use these calculations. Now they're not currently they do not store any information so what I want these doubles to do is I want them to actually take the value such as this str width. I want it to take the value that it's currently holding here and convert that over to a number so we can do the math and store that number within this double variable. So we're going to go ahead and do this conversion now and I'll set up the first one here dbl width is going to equal and so we want it to equal what the width for the str width variable has but we want this to be converted to a double so we're going to go ahead and type in convert dot and then we're going to use the two double and then in the parentheses what we'll need to do is put in the object or the variable that we want to have converted from the double or from its value to a double so we're going to go ahead and type in the str width and then we'll end that with a semicolon so this is the structure we're going to use to convert that value from the string into a number which is going to be held here in the double so we're going to actually repeat this exact same thing for all three of our variables that we currently have up so I'm going to go ahead and say dbl length is going to equal convert dot to double and this one's going to be the str length We'll end this here with the semicolon and we'll do the last one, dbl. And we're going to use the cost per square foot. It's going to equal the convert dot to double. And we're going to go ahead and use the str cp sf. So now I've actually gone ahead and I've taken the values that the users typed in from the variables that were holding that information and I've stored it into now a number that's workable for math calculations. Now to make this easier what we're going to do is create one more variable that's going to hold the value from the product of the width, the length, and the CPSF, the cost per square foot. So I'll just create one more double and we're going to go ahead and say this double is DBL and we'll call this one total cost and we'll set this equal to the product of dbl cost per square foot multiplied with dbl length and multiply that with dbl width so now I'm actually going to use the product of those three items and that's going to be stored within this double called total cost or dbl total cost so now if I write a console write line can actually just say the total cost of material for your square footage is and then I can go ahead put the dollar sign and what we'll do is just use that placeholder for zero and we're going to end that quotes and then we're going to go ahead and just use the comma here which will separate the statement that we've typed in from now what it's looking for is that first placeholder after this first comma and so we're going to go ahead and type in the dbl total cost which is the answer or the product from the multiplication that I've set up between all three of my different variables and so we'll go ahead and end that with the parentheses and the semicolon so now the only thing we've got left is to actually run this and test it. So let's go ahead and go to debug. Start without debugging. And here's my application. What is the width of the room? That is my first statement. I'll go ahead and type in 34. What is the length of the room? We'll say it's 25. What is the cost per square foot for the material? We'll say it's 2.99. And then it gives me the statement the total cost of material for your square footage is two thousand five hundred forty one dollars and fifty cents and this concludes the application
that we've used for calculating our square foot and for our interactive application.